all clear given behind. Sprinting from the 1,000 metre marker. Chief executive on the right-hand side's about a half a length off Hampton Court in the early stages. Wheel Chummies the black cap down the middle. Fives Wild with the red head gear. No name brand the white cap. Blue cap extreme inside Prince Tyrion. Mount Greylocks a couple of lengths off them. Sugar and spice in the green sleeves towards the outside. Hampton Court at the 500. A neck in front of Chief Executive. Sugar and spice. Wheel Chummies Fives Wild. No name brand. Prince Tyrion. Mount Greylock goes towards the extreme inside. Hampton Court at the 300. Chief Executive's looking for a way through. Sugar and Spice is now starting to run on. No name brand. We all chummies. Mount Greylock's getting into towards the inside. Sugar and Spice. Hampton Court. We all chummies. Mount Greylock's now coming home late on the inside. Mount Greylock's coming at We all chummies. Mount Greylock may be on the line from We all chummies. Sugar and Spice and Hampton Court. The riders look at one another. The judges will come into play. Mount Greylock was tearing them down late on. We all chummies the black cap, but I think Mount Greylock has done it. If we can just go back a fraction. Mount Greylock. Yeah. Very close. I think Mount Greylock might. If we just go back on the nod one more stride. Let's put the paper on there. Oh, very, very close. Mount Greylock, Wheel Chomies. Let's wait on the judges, yeah, because Mount Greylock, Wheel Chomies, that's just a fraction past the post. Initial thoughts, I thought Mount Greylock ahead. But on that, whoa, the judges are going to come into play. Dead heat, Wheel Chomies alive, very, very close. Sugar and Spice, Hampton Court, then came Chief Executive. So Mount Greylock, and we all chummies. We all chummies got the black cap on. With the naked eye, it looks like Mount Greylock gets up by a head. But then when you look at that slow-mo, Mount Greylock looks like he might just do it. And then on the line, a fraction past. We all chummies puts his nose down. So let's just wait on the judges here. The naked eye thought Mount Greylock, but we all chummies. The riders will have a look at each other. And we will bring the judges into play here. So stand by. For the official result. Well, Mount Greylock has made it a quick double for Dennis Dreyer and his team. And our winning groom is uh, Philip Yenga. Philip is here and uh, well done to him. He looks after Mount Greylock and good to get it back into the winner's circle. I'm with the trainer now, Den. Well done, Den. Good double. Thanks, lad. Yeah, this horse has been a little bit of a nightmare back from Cape Town. Found a few little issues, but nothing serious. And then I said to Eric, look, don't worry if you see him last today. Because, you know, we always used to bounce him and let him use that natural speed. And I said, I've told Sean to ride him like he's giving him a run. Yeah. Maybe it works. He fought to the line. Came from off them. I must be honest, I thought he just got beat. But uh, a lot of the chaps said, no, you won it. So great, great thanks to Eric. A legend. You've trained for him. A lot of the chaps have trained for him. One of the greatest. Never mind what anybody tells you. And uh, he deserves every bit of luck. And again to the yard. Great ride by Shawnee. And what more can I say? Thanks, Dan. Thanks very much. Yeah. Right. Well done, Sean. Quick double, uh, impressive, you know, left him alone and let him run on and won well. But the left, you know, he's always shown us tremendous work and I think uh, maybe we took too long to cut him because, you know, first time out, just green, showed us he could run. Second run in Cape Town, won well. I think maybe we should have cut him that time already. And Anton did suggest to the boss, but, you know, boss, he waited, he came back. He disappointed us his first run back. He's shown good work. But I think maybe dropping back down in distance, dropping that division lower, helped the source today just to get that confidence, Mr. Left. I thought I won, like, easy. And then I came back and everybody's looking at me like, I think you got beat. Even the boss was convinced I got beat. Yeah, very close. But uh, well done to Mr. Burr. It's the second run for him. So I'm grateful that he's here for a change and leading his horses in. And obviously to the team, you know, it's a big team effort. Our horses are slowly turning, which is a blessing.
because we've got a couple of unraised three-year-olds who had their sickness and their geldings, and they're all slowly coming back now. So I'm grateful, of course, to be part of a team like this. To my boss and his wife, thank you very much. To Stu and Kerry, thank you. And to our whole team, great day today. And just well done to LG panel beaters, you know. Nice day for us today. Would have been nicer if another one won, but uh, it doesn't matter. I take the two. Well done to the team again. And obviously to my wife and my two boys, this one's for them. Well done, Sean. Thanks to Mr. Burr once again. Thank you. Well done, Eric. Well, good time to get a birthday gift. You've got a good double whammy here. Fantastic that they've both bounced back. Yes, Paul, thanks very much. You know, uh, two b a birthday present is not nice to have. Uh, and, and uh, you know, this was a lucky purchase. Uh, you know, I'm a person who probably says yes too quickly. And uh, when Dennis phoned me and he said, here's a horse, I said, fine, I'll buy her. And how lucky I am to have such a good one for a reason very reasonable price. But uh, thanks to Dennis and his team for all they do. You know, I leave everything to Dennis. I don't even... I uh, said, so make any suggestions because he's, they, you, he's the expert. So I'm a, I'm a very happy man today. Um, I've got another run in the next race, but um, I think my luck is probably running out. <laughs> well, let's give our fingers for us. Well done, Eric. Thanks very much. Yeah, everything of the best. And uh, Mount Greylock, uh, Ridgemont, Ridgemont Highlands, well done to them. They bred the source. So uh, one to go here at Scottsville.